forecast. Independently certified, the most accurate in Central Kentucky. Well, you could say this is like three for the price of one. It's a blue moon, the second full moon of the month. It's a brighter moon than usual, and tomorrow morning there's a lunar eclipse, partially visible from Kentucky. That is, if the weather cooperates and the clouds aren't going to obscure our view. Yeah, it's been nice to have the clear skies earlier today. We've had a little bit more cloud cover this evening. Have you guys actually gone out there to see the moon a little bit this evening? Yeah, it's bright. Yeah, it looks nice and bright. It's now, the, you're not seeing time. much <laughs> of an eclipse. That will not happen until tomorrow morning closer to sunrise. It will be more of a partial eclipse here locally. Uh, by the time we actually have the sun coming up with sunrise around 744, that's about the time the lunar eclipse would be occurring. So because of the sunrise happening right around the lunar eclipse, we may start to see partial eclipse again that will begin with sunrise right around 744 but if you're out around 7 a.m. in the morning you may start to see a little bit more of a reddish or orange tint to the moon and that's where it gets that blood moon name to it and that's just basically where the moon is going into the earth's shadow and where it actually causes the orange tint like you'd see in a sunrise or a sunset last time that we actually had a super blue blood moon that was 1866, the year after the Civil War ended. So uh, hard to believe just how long of a time that has been. Relatively quiet. We're looking off on the Fort Bank sky view, the AIC roofing camera up toward Hamburg right now. So far this evening, we haven't had a lot of cloud cover, but really just in the past hour, a little bit more clouds moving back in with temperatures in the low to mid 20s on average. It's 26 in Lexington, but 23 degrees in Richmond, as well as for Somerset, 21 degrees currently for Irvine. Winds are not a big factor right now. In fact, for the most part, we're looking at calm winds. As we continue into Wednesday, though, winds are going to stay out of the south, but they're going to be gusting at times up around 35 miles per hour. Overnight tonight, 23 degrees. So kids heading off to school tomorrow morning, waiting on the school bus, or maybe you're just heading off to work, you're going to need to bundle up again with low temperatures around 23 degrees. And speaking of kids, we had a great tour this evening. In fact, the American Heritage girls from Georgetown uh, came in with some of their siblings and parents and got to have an ABC 36 station tour. We talked also about weather, and they were fantastic, had a lot of wonderful questions. So we had a lot of fun with them this evening, so appreciate them coming by the studio. We're looking at your satellite and radar. Again, we've had clear skies for most of the evening. Clouds moving back in here over the past few hours. We actually have a warm front to our west right now with a cold front across portions of the Great Plains and the Rockies. That cold front will approach the area tomorrow. Winds are going to be staying out of the south. That's going to help us to warm up on Wednesday. Cold front moves through later in the day on Thursday. This is at midnight Friday. By that point, we may see a transition to some rain during the day Thursday. It's a little bit more of a wintry mix Thursday evening. So looking at your future cast, again, midnight here into our early morning hours of Wednesday. A little bit more cloud cover, lower 20s to start off your day. As the day goes on, we do expect expect breaks of sunshine, partly cloudy skies on average. Gusty winds, though, highs around 51 degrees, though those winds will be out of the south. As we go overnight Wednesday into your Thursday, clouds moving back in, really seeing a better chance for rain developing around midday Thursday. And then as we continue throughout your Thursday afternoon, we'll see more rain showers staying around. And again, a chance for some snow mixing in with that rain as we go into your Thursday evening. If you're looking at your seven day forecast right now, looking at 51 degrees for Wednesday, we're looking at upper 40s for Thursday. Again, rain transitioning to a rain snow mix Thursday evening could end to some light snow by early Friday morning. Friday's going to be a cold day, but temperatures are back around 40 degrees as we head into the weekend. So focus on that moon. Get out there and <laughs> yeah. see it. Then we'll deal with that. Yeah, that's right. All right. Thank you, Jason. We'll find out.